Man, CJ Stroud <clears throat> took his barber from Ohio to Houston to get cuts every week. He quotes, a haircut makes you feel like you're that guy. He told the Houston Chronicle. So, book, is that OD or is that, you no. know, no? That's normal. <coughs> so, you would move your barber? Would I what? He moved his barber. He moved his barber? From Ohio to Houston. Now that he could be staying you know, with him. Relationship, bro. Yeah. I don't, I don't know that dynamic. Yeah. But I would fly my damn barber to me every week. Yeah. Now, yeah. I had to start realizing I'm paying this motherfucker a hundred dollars on top of paying for his flight. That was damn near a three hundred to four hundred dollar fight. Fuck uh, up, a thousand dollar lineup. <coughs> I said, I ain't gonna keep doing that. <laughs> don't worry about it. Ah, I'm gonna grow him up. <laughs> I'd be straight. <laughs> I said, don't worry about it. I, look, I got this head fat. Fat, my assistant, my cousin. So he like, start looking at them damn clippers. So I can yeah. cut my damn self. Ah. <laughs> Shit, motherfucker. Because I wear so many hats. Who the fuck yeah. looking up here? But with players, though, obviously I got post game. It, know, bro, hold this, on. This, let, me, let me say this. And I need to, I speak for a lot of men that's out here. Barbers, y'all getting out of control. When it comes to talking quarterbacks, football, and media accountability, you know I got you covered. But who do you turn to when you need some smart financial decisions? If your answer is our sponsor, NerdWallet, then you're absolutely correct. And if it's not, you need to turn to the nerds at NerdWallet. Not only have they spent thousands of hours researching and reviewing over 1,300 financial products, but they have the tools you need to make smarter financial decisions. Make the nerds your go-to resource for smart financial decisions. Head to nerdwallet.com forward slash learn more. NerdWallet. Finance smarter. Disclaimer, Nerd Wallet Compare Inc. NMLS 1617539. Barbers, y'all getting out of control. Bro. Y'all are getting out of control. And y'all got to stop this motherfucking waste management satanic work that y'all damn do. They say a ring light will cost you $100 for a cut. Bro, they these get motherfuckers light. get a couple of followers and TikTok views and they just think they could charge me $150. Bro, I said, hold bro. on, hold on, hold on, hold on, playboy. Yeah, hold on. Bro. All bro. you doing is just making sure that my lineup is crispy. Bro, I'm, I'm not about to, to sit up here and keep paying you no hundred and fifty damn bro, dollars. Yeah. They when, got, I ain't even gonna put them, but man, your boy, hey, I got I got hit with that nasty work. Let before. me tell you something. Golly. Inflation is real. That's but, why I went for it. Yeah! God damn it! I can't pay for nah, it no bro, more. But, but, yeah. Grow your hair out and I went for it. Let me tell you something, bro. I was like, bro, I'm not going to keep doing this. Because, bro, the time. and But but let me let me speak for the barbers, too. Because he work. he made it make sense one time. Mm -hmm. He's like, bro, if I'm at your beckoning call to come cut your hair, mm -hmm. it's costing me anywhere from two hours to three hours. That's on the low end. Yeah. I'm missing out on two hours oh, to cuts. now a whole day is like six hours. I could have made that back. That's so true. you got to compensate me for that time, yeah. which is cool. I understand that. I get that, big bro. Mm -hmm. But uh, we will no longer be needing your services because of inflation. And the way my bank account is set up, uh, I, I can't keep forking out. A hundred and theft. And anybody like me, I remember in college, bro, every week it was a part of my weekly routine. I got to go get my hair cut. Mm. College is, I mean, uh, in, in the NFL, it started being, okay, line up, line up, Manny Petty, massage, uh, outfit selection. That was all, like, those had days. Mm -hmm. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it was a routine that I was in. And I started saying, bro, you ain't thinking about it because you're making that type of money. And even then, I was like, damn, bro, like you, you slapped me over the head for 300 Then they see you, so they're like, oh, that's a walking and lick right there. And this be the thing. <clears throat> and you want a tip, too? Oh. Bruh. Big bruh. And then this, this, is, this is the guilt. Yeah. I mean, I usually charge about 350 bro, but shit, you just give me anything. It don't matter. Yeah, they're going to put that on you. Give me anything. That means more than what no, I'm saying. I, I had, look, let me tell you something, bro. No, nigga, you're going to tell me. What the price what is. What the fuck that price. And if you get crazy, this my last time paying this fee. Man, boy. So I... you better enjoy it. Because I'm going to tell you like this. This is, this is another thing. I'm going to put somebody else back on. 
If you're using my head for your muse, mm -hmm. I need to then charge you a fee for using Me. my lineup as a commercial. Yeah, spin around. Close that. With the closed eyes, spin around. Yeah, yeah, this is what we got him, bro. We got him. <laughs> you got me, bro, bro. <laughs> I already lined it up. <laughs> for the folks like Peggy. <laughs> <laughs> ah, bullshit. Oh. That a fat, that a black. Oh. <laughs> yeah. ah! Look at the camera, yeah. Hold on, hold on, turn around. Bro, you missing? You got a light on top of the head. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, bit, bro. You know, ain't that. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. And then they gonna side show. Ooh, Ooh that boy fresh. Yeah, but it's gonna be three fifty, man. Yeah, I mean, man, you know yeah, yeah big cash big. car, but not oh no, I owe you. And if know? I see me on your Instagram, Facebook, or get, TikTok, get I'm gonna like. send you another invoice and be like, oh shit, that shit cost me four hundred. Yeah, cause you can't just use my face without my uh, no. Yeah. Cause I started saying, I said, hold on, bro. Booed and sat in the chair. I don't, bro, you're using my name, image, and likeness to garner. But Boog, it even got worse. He done charged you. I got charged another 150. And then, hey, hey, can you get that picture of me, me and Cam? Bullshit! Not Peggy. Peggy. Pe photos by Peg. Photos by Peg. And it got me a ball head. Come on, Boog. Hey, right, man, please. Get out ain't of that much damn spread. Y'all need y'all ass beat, bro. Man, so I can't speak for women because I ain't never really been in the beautician and, and uh, uh, whatever. What y'all do over there is what y'all do over there. But uh, barbers all around America, the world, I have to let you know y'all need y'all ass beat for these rising inflation prices damn. for a fucking. $20 job. Now, what happened to the days where you give $20, give them 30 just for like, bro, appreciate you. you know yeah. Nine days, bro, you'll you you waste all your cash app funds. Uh, all that. <laughs>